Welcome back. An art prize piece that landed in the top five now has a new starring role. Serpentina, the dragon statue that was outside the Amway Grand, is featured this year in one Comstock Park family's DIY haunted house. Our Michael Martin has the story. It's been a tradition almost every year for the woman who lives here in this house just behind me to go all out for Halloween, decorating everything, this, that, and all in between. But after entering her first piece into Art Prize this past summer, she's actually incorporating it into this year's decorations. Serpentina the Dragon. You may have met her last month during Art Prize when she, for a short while, called the Amway Grand home. Everything that you see on the exterior of her is EVA foam, epoxy clay, and resin, cast resin, and she is on a steel and PVC um, armature. The mythical creature, with a coy look in her wide yellow eyes, wasn't always meant to be an entry in the world's largest art competition, though she did did place in the top five. This is the haunting of Storybook Hollow. It's my Halloween display that I have. This is our 13th year. I've been running since 2008. This is where Serpentina was always meant to be, in artist Jennifer Dunahy's home Halloween display in Comstock Park. Last year, I built this dragon, Serpentina, for the display, and I had a lot of our visitors stop by saying, oh, you should enter her an art prize, but I never really thought I'd had the courage to try that. This was my first year entering, so I didn't really know what to expect, and it was it was um, a whirlwind. She took about a year and a half to build, and is only one piece of their elaborate display. Serpentina is one of nine dragons in the Dragon Castle. Um, it's actually supposed to be like a ruined castle that somebody has turned into a dragon farm. And then there are other scenes that are on a sort of a twisted fairy tale theme all throughout the yard that you can walk through. The whole thing was meant to be even bigger this year. But of course, there's never quite enough time. Next year, though, boy, oh boy, get ready. One is a surprise because I've already laid clues in this year's display for that one. The second one is actually the second story of our castle that we actually had about half done when we realized that art prize was going to take too much of our time. Now, Jennifer says they plan to leave the display up at least a few days after Halloween, so you still have some time to come experience it for yourself. For now, though, in Comstock Park, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.